John Mohammed's meeting with the creative arts industry brought together notable names from different parts of the country, especially the Ashanti region, to the Great Hall of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. In his speech, John Mohammed promised a second national theatre will be built in the region if the NDC wins power in December. National Film Theatre, since uh, China for Boa UC, Rollins Abreso. He said the National Theatre has not been rehabilitated since the Chinese helped us to build it during Rollins' administration. A lot of things are in bad shape at the theatre. The curtains cannot be drawn, the stage is in bad shape, and so it's time for us to rehabilitate the building so it can help the creative industry. In our 2020 manifesto, we promised to build Ghana's second national theatre in Kumasi. That promise is still in our 2024 manifesto. So we will fulfil that promise and we are repeating that if we come into power, we will build our second theatre in Kumasi. If you say Kumasi, they are the centre of the arts and culture in this country. He said the National Theatre in Accra will also be renovated. John Mahama says the NDC will institute an initiative called the Black Star Experience. It aims to establish Ghana as the best tourism destination through a year-round celebration of the country's rich cultural heritage. And so I don't see why we can't make budgetary allocation for the creative arts. <laughs> and every year, Finance Minister or the kind budgeter, you pay a special budgetary allocation for the creative arts. Now, you are not paying for arts now. Say, ni aye allocation, capacity building. Ne nyome, nyome am person we in now will put it under under that budgetary allocation. To further bolster creative industry, we will support local content creation initiatives and ensure that our digital con content creators, particularly our youth have the resources to develop content that promotes Ghanaian culture, the Black Star experience. And we are the main policy driver for the creative arts and the tourism industry. Now, under this Black Star experience, yeah, we well, Pan-African Month, Senior Minua Baba Sadiqai. Under the Black Star experience, we will have the Pan-African Month featuring a variety of events. We we'll host an annual film festival where we will select the best films, showcase them, and award the filmmakers. We will also organize the African Music Festival, inviting African musicians to perform alongside some of our Ghanaian musicians. Additionally, we will introduce African Fashion Week to showcase our culture, and we will hold food fairs so people can sample a variety of African cuisines. There's a lot we'll be doing under the Black Star Experience. African Fashion Week. In the African fashion on Kwa, you be a fashion designers now, or more design it nice. A you be a food fairs, ah, caterers near the other, um, in Abeba, no more than you are Diani, and then people will come and sample the various uh, dishes. I feel so tourism, tourism promotion. Sa Bosomono, we will. Organize buses, domestic tourism. In Tiwao Pesoko, you pay a small fee and then we'll make accommodation arrangements. In Tisa Mule Park, now Pesoko, you go to Mule Park, enjoy the place for uh, some days and then you come back. If you want to go to Volta Region, Eco Tourism, Kakum Park, everywhere you want to go, Senebea, you'll be promoting domestic tourism. He says the future NDC government will prioritize the Marine Drive project to beautify Ghana's coastal line. And then also Marine Drive project. And so we started the Marine Drive project, but after we left the government, it couldn't continue. If we are elected, we will partner with the private sector to ensure its completion. If you travel outside Ghana, almost every country has a beautiful seafront where they sell artworks, jewelry, cafes, and other attractions. This is something we plan to replicate here. Cafes near the you can go there and have a nice time.